Okay, folks, so fixing a Gamo cheapo scope, and I think this is a rectical fix for most scopes. And um, with this Gamo, I'll put about 500 rounds through it, dead accurate within an inch over 20 meters. And um, I'll show you a bit about that later. But the reticle canted, so I wanted to obviously get it fixed because I'm loving shooting this gun and I uh, want to get it back up and running as quick as possible. I don't want to trip down the gun shop. So I had a look out on YouTube last night and uh, yeah, there were some videos, but not the greatest. So I'll see if I can improve on it. Okay, so the first thing, if your <coughs> reticle is canted, you've got to unscrew this stage right here and you'll be able to see this part and the joining mechanism right there okay that's about here so we're going to unscrew that first so take a grip so you don't adjust the focus so we're gripping there and we're going to unscrew that all the way out it's quite a long thread it doesn't take any forcing or anything like that so just keep screwing and there we go that piece is out and now we'll be able to see the reticle and the parts with inside that that we need to adjust Okay, so here's inside the gamo scope with the uh, first piece removed. You'll be able to see the reticle, make sure you don't touch that. Um, inside you've got your first o-ring there, which is not what we're adjusting, but you can see the slots around it. So when people are referring to the slots, it's not those, it's on this inner brass ring here. You see that slot there, that slot there. I spent ages getting this uh, level last night so I'm not going to adjust it now but you just get your slotted screwdriver in there and tweak it whichever way if you want it to move left it's best to use the one up in the far right hand at about two o'clock if you want to move it to your right if it's canted then better to use the one up here at 11 o'clock now I'm happy with that being straight vertical so I'm going to put a little blob of glue in there okay so we don't want to go any further than that just to keep it fixed this happens on the cheap sides but this is what i've been advised to do so i'm going to put some glue on the end of this i'm just using some okay precision i'll put this on the end of here Okay, so a good blob of glue on the end of the tip there. And we're going to carefully get it into that location. So we've got a little blob there. Okay. And we'll see if that sorts the problem out. 